Previously on Thriving with Nature. Now how profound is this? A garden that can read your body and give you exactly what you need so you have optimal health. This has stuck with me, as I said, for a very long time. Good morning, Living Supplement Garden. This obviously you've seen, we've built the, the Living Supplement Garden box and put the soil in. And now we've waited to the correct day. So biodynamically, one of the things they mentioned, she actually references to, um, is planting to the cosmos, planting to the sun, moon, stars, and other planets. So I looked today and today I can plant leaves up until 12 p.m. So there we go. All the leaf stuff that we can plant today is literally, so that's a root, the marigold's flower, and that's fruit. So we won't be planting those this morning, but we will be planting these, which is very exciting. So let's get to it. My mission on this earth is to connect people to the magic of nature, to thrive physically and globally. Hi, my name's Hayley Weatherburn and welcome to Thriving With Nature. Hello! Climbing a tree. The time has come to start doing the seeds process. So I'll be recording that. I'll be putting the seeds in my mouth for 10 minutes and I'll be thinking, I'll be reading Anastasia. I'll be thinking positive thoughts, thinking about the health of this garden flourishing, the health of my body flourishing and just sending a lot of love, so there's intention. Um, so I'll be very focused on that. And then, um, then after the 10 minutes in my mouth, I'll be putting it in, in my hand and showing it to the sky and then blowing air, uh, blowing your breath on it. My thinking is there's maybe there's some internal lung sort of microbes that gives it more information as well about you. And then I'll be planting it in. As soon as I've done that, I will do the same and just plant some seeds directly into the control garden. So it's planting at the same time. Um, so there'll be a select seed that I won't be putting in my mouth. Uh, and instead, the, the thing, because these, once you do this, we don't want any water on it for three days. We want our saliva to be the one that awakens the seeds. This, however, I may put some water on it. And if it does look like it's gonna rain, I will be covering this particular I'll probably cover both of them so that they're watered similar times um, for three days. I don't want that to happen. Now is the time, lovely. We've, we've got to get it in before midday for the leaves uh, because of the, the bio biodynamics. So let's get this started. All right, so this is step one, putting the seeds underneath your tongue for 10 minutes. Anastasia talks about it being nine minutes. I just like to round it up to 10. One tip is that I learned very quickly with the smaller seeds, you need to be careful. I just put them in my mouth, but with the saliva moving around for 10 minutes, I ended up swallowing some of the seeds. So holding the seeds with your tongue is really helpful. You can see here, I've just been reading and listening or writing about Anastasia. I wanted to connect to the message while I was doing it. So it's been 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna take the seeds out. You'll see with these particular seeds, probably not, but there's uh, a little bit of saliva around them. They've, they've got my saliva that's sort of started to activate the seeds. Um, there's quite a few seeds in my mouth. So the second step here is to put the seeds in between your palms for 30 seconds. I feel that there, the hypothesis here, there may be connection with the energy fields of us and the plants. Step three is to blow, gently blow your wind, your air onto the seeds. And step four is to show the seeds 30 seconds to the stars. Then using your fingers and toes, you create a hole, you put your saliva in, into the hole and then put the seeds in there. This is the control. I'll pl I'm planting the seeds exactly in the same spot. I'm just repeating these processes now with all the different seeds, uh, but I just wanna share a little bit of a, a tip as I go. The notes here is really connecting with Anastasia. Think about the seeds. I even spent some time sort of thinking about them flourishing and also thought about my body, that it's going to be providing this beautiful healthiness to my body. So I was thinking about that. 
I was connecting with the process of Anastasia. Now, just something to note, when you're making the hole with your fingers and toes, again, that's putting some of your potential microbes and your body's perspiration as micro messages into the soil. I, I also spit a bit of saliva into the soil. Using your fingers and toes into the soil, again, the hypothesis here is uh, maybe not an exchange of microbes, but certainly a connection uh, between you and the soil. So I've really connected into the soil here. Oh, hello little stray kitty that I'm feeding. <laughs> So here, the final sort of stages of putting these seeds. Because I used a little bit of saliva in the living supplement garden, in the control, I'm just using a little bit of um, water to replicate the same thing, but without the message of my body. I am just in a state of bliss at the moment. I feel this, this, this underlying, connection to nature right now actually that's probably how I feel to have started this process so this box the plus what in syntropic agroforestry they call this the placenta where you plant all the seeds at once I'm doing it over a few days because I'm following the biodynamic calendar so today was anything to do with leaves uh, I think tomorrow I can do roots and then on Tuesday I can do fruits uh, and I need to double check flowers and maybe I have to do flowers tomorrow as well. So I will plant those uh, accordingly. You can come join me on Patreon and join others where we're actually looking into the, 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 the idea of why this is real, why this is true. We're going to look at case studies. I'm actually over the next week or so I'm getting all the tests. I'm going to be testing the soil, I'm going to be testing my gut microbes, my skin microbes my live blood, my mineral levels in my blood. I'm gonna get all the test results now as I've planted this. Uh, and then in six months time, after doing this for six months, and maybe even in three months, I wanna see what's going on. Maybe we'll notice that some microbes that were on me are now in the soil or vice versa. After eating a few of these things, has my, has things changed inside my gut? But otherwise, yeah, hit subscribe and you'll be able to see next week uh, what happens, what's gonna be happening with the, the garden. In three days time, I can start watering, so I'll share with that the morning process, and we'll talk about the evening process. And then we're gonna dive into the processes individually and go into the science. So join me on this journey of the Living Supplement Garden. You can go to thrivingwithnature.com or come and take to the next level, patreon.com forward slash thrivingwithnature. All right, until next week, see you then. For more information, you can visit thrivingwithnature.com. See you next week.